Hello dear subscribers and watchers this is me Webs from Slagner here in this video I'm going to talk about object reference preservation in Java now this is something which not many people are aware of I just thought it is important that you guys know about it because this might come in handy in certain situations when you're trying to debug your application for some errors so what is object reference preservation you have a class B it has a variable int x there's a class A it has a method a and it takes an argument of type B inside this method what I'm trying to do is I'm saying object dot X is 300 and then I say system dot out dot print ln object dot X which is obviously gonna be 300 right now this is the most important statement inside in this entire video I'm trying to say object equals to null in other words the object its value is going to be supplied by the main method when you're trying to execute this program here there is b b equals to new b it looks like this right there is b reference variable it's pointing to the actual object b then you say b dot x is 10 which is perfectly fine then you say a a equals to new a at this point you have a reference variable a that points to the actual object a now notice carefully you say a dot method a and you pass b inside now what happens in this scenario you know very well since object references get allocated to each other or point to the same address what happens is B and OBJ actually point to the same object B you have over here so let me show you that as well so there is OBJ which is pointing to the same object B where our B variable is pointing so now when I say OBJ dot X is 300 it's gonna be modifying OBJ dot X as 300 therefore B dot X is also 300 because they are pointing to the same place right but if I say obj equals to null then this reassignment object equals to null is ignored it's not permitted to have because in that case if it was possible then you could tamper this original object b which you created over here and that is not a good measure as far as security is concerned so object references do not allow modification of the original objects themselves they just let you modify the instance variables where the references are pointed so this will be illustrated right now in NetBeans and I'm going to show you guys exactly how that works. So here let me demonstrate the same thing in NetBeans and let, you, let me show you guys exactly how this works. There is a class B, there is integer X, there is a class A which has a method which takes an argument B of type object. Now let's make its object over here by saying B B equals to new B right. At this point let me give some value for B dot X by saying something like 10 let's just print this value out to see what happens very simple it's gonna be 10 right then let's make an object of a by saying a a equals to new a and then let's call the method by saying a dot method and pass b inside so remember very well now that you have passed b from here to here inside it's gonna get allocated to obj that means both of them are gonna point to the same object that means now I'll just print system dot out dot print and then obj dot x to just show you guys what is happening this is all we will do for the first time now if you run this by saying shift f6 as you guys notice it says 10 and 10 so the first time I call system dot out dot print ln b dot x is 10 then I call a dot method b inside this obj dot x is nothing but b dot x and that is also 10 which you just saw now if I go here and say obj dot x equals to 300 then if I just print this out so that is also gonna make b dot x also as 300 since b and obj are both pointing to the same object right so again I'm gonna print that out here by saying system dot out dot print ln and I'm gonna say b dot x over here just to illustrate this and let me just put some statements here like before method call so now if you guys notice as soon as I initialize b dot x is 10 I have had a system dot out dot print ln which says before the method call the value of b dot x is whatever then I call the method inside the method I try to print by saying inside the method call before modifying obj dot x value is this obj dot x is modified and then I'm trying to print after the modification over here so again after the method gets executed here I have another print statement which says after method call b dot x and its value so let's run this and see what happens as you guys notice it says before the method call b dot x is 10 inside the method call before modification obj dot x is 10 because obj and b point to the same object 
Now inside the method call, after the modification, obj.x becomes 300, great. And then after the method call, p.x also becomes 300, again because they both point to the same location. So now let's try to actually change the object itself and see what happens. I'm going to go down and say object equals to null. And at this point, again, I'm going to print everything here. And let's try to look. I'm going to change the statement here by saying after putting null. Now remember very well, obj is null. Hence, saying obj.x is going to be an error. And hence, I'm going to remove this and just print obj out here and see what that happens. I'm going to again run this by saying shift f6. obj becomes null. But that does not change the value of b.x notice right here and that means object references may be passed by value that means when you try to change the instance variable of an object that has been passed here inside parameter that is perfectly fine because they both point to the same object but when you actually try to change the object itself over here by saying obj equals to null or something then that does not affect the original object which is a very good feature because otherwise the original object could be tampered with in certain way now someone could go here and make it null and then outside our program in the main method this statement will not work if b became null causing our application to crash because here i have tried to access b.x so this is one of the security mechanisms you have inbuilt in java so the idea or the entire concept that you guys got to remember is this you can modify instance variables no problems but modifying the original object themselves here is not a good practice and it is not supported so hopefully you guys have understood something about this if you guys like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day